Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework. So today we get this word problem. I believe it's either Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. Remember when you email your problems in, tell me what course you're in so I know what playlist to put it in. So find two consecutive positive even integers with a product of 624. All right, we see these a lot. We see consecutive positive even, consecutive odd. Okay, so let's talk about what we mean. If we want consecutive, make sure you can see that, consecutive even integers. All right, what do all these words mean? Consecutive, one after another. Even, I think we know what even means. Integers means, yay, we're dealing with whole numbers. Okay, and so we now need, we know that their product has to equal 624. Product means multiply. Okay, every single time you see something that says consecutive even, consecutive odd, the only thing you can do, you've got to start out by letting your first number be something, okay? So you're going to let the first number be, well, what are you going to let it be? You don't know what it is. Anytime we don't know what something is, we let it be a variable. So we're going to let it be x, okay? So let's think about this. If our first number is x, what is our first number? It's an even number. So it's 2. It's 224. It's 3,000. It's some even number. If I want my next even number, the next even number is going to be 2 away because there's going to be an odd number in between. So it's going to be x plus 2. So this x, x plus 2, when you're looking for the sum of two consecutive evens, the sum of con two consecutive odds, the product of two consecutive evens or odds, you're going to use x and x plus 2. You're going to see it. It happens a lot. Okay, so what do we know about these? We know that we want the product of these two things to be 624. Here's where I knew it was quadratic and that it was probably in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. I'm going to multiply these. We're going to distribute x squared plus 2x equals 624. Anytime you have an equation whose highest power is 2, you have a quadratic. And you use all those quadratic skills that you learned. Quadratic skills, ax squared plus bx, whoops, bx plus c equals 0. Okay, so that's pretty important that you have to know standard form is 0, because right now this thing equals 624. If I don't want it to equal 624, I want it to equal 0, I need to take away 624. So subtract 624, subtract 624, so this thing looks like something we're used to, so x squared plus 2x minus 624 equals 0. Okay, so we have lots of options now. We know we need two factors. We know they're going to be whole numbers, so we kind of know this thing can be factored, right? We don't need to use the quadratic formula. You might want to because who knows they're, you know, factors of 624, not many of us. We know that it has to multiply to be negative 624. That means they have to be unlike signs, okay, positive and negative. We know they have to add up to positive 2. So we have an x plus something. We have an x minus something. When we factor this thing, and since it has to equal or since it has to add to a positive, the larger number is going to be positive. All right, so since I know 624 is a huge number, you don't know the factors of it, I do know they have to add up to 2 when you actually subtract them, right, because unlike signs. So what I know for sure is that they're going to be 2 away from each other. So you do some guessing and checking, and you find that 24 times 26 equals 624. All right, so which one of those, and there's that wicked glare. I'm going to try and move this over. Okay, well, good, now it's on my x. Okay, so which one of those can be positive? It has to be the larger, so it's going to be 26, and then minus 24. So what do we do when we have two factors multiplied equal to 0? We set each factor equal to 0, so x plus 26 equals 0, x minus 24 equals 0. So we get x equals negative 26, x equals 24. And you're thinking, great. We didn't even solve the problem because it specifically asked for two positive even integers. And you're right. We've gotten a quadratic. So this quadratic looks something like this with roots at negative 26 and positive 24. Okay? And it would be a parabola going through this. But since we have a word problem, we need to start thinking about what our answers really mean. So since 24 times 26 equals 624, and 24 is positive and even, the two numbers we're looking for are x equals 24 and 26. And we don't actually even have to say 
x equals, because we weren't solving for x. We wrote the equation to solve the problem. We don't need this parabola. Okay, we have now solved it. So I know you got a negative answer here because that's the nature of quadratics, but you just need to think, what is this problem asking me? If you know 24 and 26 based on this quadratic, you just need positive 24 and positive 26. Okay, hope that helped. If you have questions, put them in the comments section. Before to, be sure to subscribe because when you do and you send me your homework problems, I solve them for you. Have a good one.